Hi everyone, and welcome back for another episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We just uh, wrapped up a whiz lab in Depths 5 and found some cool stuff. Uh, the Moon Troll Leather Armor, which we don't really need, but it's a nice trophy. And, you know, conceivably we could want eventually, so I brought it with me. Uh, and we found Needles of Paralysis, which will be great for Garyon, hopefully. And uh, just other miscellaneous goodies, like a Potion of Cure Mutation and this book with statue form in it, which I don't really foresee being able to cast, but it's nice to have the option. Because uh, the statue form troll sounds like OP. Anything else I want to pick up here? Not really. Let's see. So there's still only a few enchant weapons, right? Yeah, there's three. So I would like to have... Hello? Do I like the robe of vines? Yes, I do. Uh, so somebody else who's playing the tournament happened to spectate me and asked how I like the robe of vines. Uh, so there's there's an in-game messaging system. Um, so that was a that was a nice surprise, I guess. I don't know about nice surprise, but it was it was a surprise and it wasn't unpleasant. Uh, And I think all that goes into the message log. Why is all this doing so much damage? What? I'm surprised. I, I guess it's the air mage doing air strikes. I just want to kill him. Is a demon whip of pain? What is the problem here? Uh, okay, well, that's... Okay, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wield this lightning rod again. Do what we did to the enchantress. And there they go. And we made a bunch of noise, so let's get out of here. Eat a fruit, yeah, yummy, yummy fruit. And I mean, just, just walking around that little uh, structure there was enough, so this looks Highly suspicious, like the Zot Vault. It's just this uh, big old diamond-shaped thing, I guess. Uh, it's all stone. So I'm going to try and leave that for later. What kind of wand was this? Slowing, no thanks. Yeah, so he was chanting Word of Entropy, so I just shut the door in his face. Take that. Another Juggernaut. Lasty's going to be pleased. I really don't want to fight a Juggernaut with Corrosion, but that seems to be what's about to happen. And we blocked his attack. We have enough... We have quite a bit of ways to completely counteract attacks. It's sort of okay that my armor is low. And he can only hit for like 100 in the absolute worst case, which would be fine when we're just fighting him by himself. I mean, obviously it's like, that's a pretty big number. But uh, we're prepared to deal with it. Because he has to take a big break and slow down. It would give us plenty of time to teleport away or whatever. So I didn't mind just having him with my buffs up. Uh, so the Adepts 5 is going fine. Let's get this Water Elemental's attention. More Spriggans. So many Spriggans today. I don't like it. And I'm kind of having some food issues, which is a little bit unusual. It's not a big problem. They should be coming through here any second, right? You guys know I went in here, don't you? Alright, for some reason you're trapped by all the plants like an idiot. Okay, so I'm over here. Come and get me in in small groups, if you would be so kind. Heroism up. Better buff than Berserk. Ah, they opened the door. What a bunch of jerks. And they disintegrated the wall. 
Where is the Earth Mage? Is this him? Yeah. Hmm. Let's put up Finesse as well. We seem to be a bit cornered. Kill the Earth Mage first. These guys have spears, I guess, yeah. And then we'll just tab the rest of this down. Yaktars and, yeah, indeed, Draconians. So that's the entrance to Zot. The final area of the game where we will be going to collect the Orb of Zot and win once we've gotten enough runes. With any luck. Yeah, so I'll just unexclude this. I have my buffs up. I'm going to march on in and murder stuff while I can. Okay, the buffs are, are cooling off. Uh, so I'll just come down here and chow down on Spriggans, I guess. These stupid spring and air mages, they do more damage than you would think with airstrike. Ah, I got out of line of sight. No entropy for you, buddy. And it looks like he's going to get the entropy this time. Nope, killed him. Too bad. Okay, yeah, so uh, Depths 5 is going fine. There was that a tough spot where like two or three Spriggans uh, were a big problem for reasons unknown. Oh my gosh, I just remembered. I forgot all about this uh, this shield here. I gotta go see what that's all about. What is this? Plus zero large shield of electricity resistance and more strength. Uh... How much protection is the shield giving me? I think a shield of protection is just three? Is that right? So what if I were to take off J? I have only 15 armor, so that's three. Uh, would I rather have three armor or electricity resistance and five strength? Oh, uh, tough choice, actually. I think I'm just going to stick with my large shield of protection, but it's, it's a closest call. And I, I could well be making the wrong choice, even. Uh, I want Javelins of Penetration. They're great for um, getting priority targets that are behind something else, uh, or for dealing with large groups. If you can get them in a line, like in a corridor, for example, it'll just pierce through everything and hit, hit every threat in the line you aim it at, even if there's other stuff in the way. Yeah, so here's a bunch of dragons. And uh, they're all asleep. Uh, I guess best to just let it lie, honestly. Like, let's just not, not go in here. Yeah, don't go in there either. Uh, yeah, seems fine. There's still more Depths 5 to explore. But pretty soon, it should be time to go fight Garion, which I am anxiously awaiting. I think it ought to be okay. You know, we finally found the needle we wanted. So it's all going to be about, I guess, the tactical position we find when we go down to hell and how we prepare for it. Oh, it looks like that draconian woke up, which is too bad. Because I'm sure he roared. I wasn't really watching. And that's going to wake everything else in there up as well. Yeah, so it's all awake. Uh, let's just heroism here. I don't know. I guess I don't really need heroism for like a draconian, but I think I'm going to come in here and just kill everything else as well. Uh, anything else I should do? Quaff a buff or something? Not really. Swap rings? This feels. Uh, oh yeah, let's put on Broken Luck, I guess. This feels fine. Is the 
soldier ant. I'm sure it's a shapeshifter, of course. And all these dragons and draconians, Zot has a lot of them. So the entry vault has a lot too. Makes sense. I'm surprised I haven't seen a golden dragon yet. Purple draconian collar. I don't like him very much. They summon things and just are generally unpleasant. Yeah, there he goes. They summon like dragons, basically. Uh, okay, that was Deaths 5. So next up is Garion, but I don't want to go straight there. Uh, we have a few preparations to make. Uh, like enchanting up my blowgun is is high on my priority list. Uh, it was something I forgot to do in my practice game, and it went fine, but there was no reason to have made that mistake. Uh, the better enchanted your blowgun, the more effective it is at the... I guess I should have checked to see if there were any other enchanted blowguns, but there aren't. Um, the better it is at applying the negative status effects that you're trying to apply with your blowgun. And so I would like the maximum chance to paralyze Garion. And I'm planning to quaff like every buff potion before I go downstairs uh, and heroism and finesse and all this great stuff. Uh, in theory, like, do I need all of that? No. Should be alright. But I'm sort of, uh, I'm bristling with buffs. I have enough. Um, mm, you know, I might wait on agility, but this is going to be one of the last difficult parts of this game, and I just want to make sure that things go well. So... You know, Zot is going to be hard, I'm sure, but I'm pretty uh, experienced at at diving through it uh, or clearing through it, as the case may be. So the question is, what what steps am I missing that I want to prepare? I've got my needles of paralysis. I've got my blowgun enchanted as high as I can get it. I've got rings that I can use. I'm gonna haste, probably not finesse, haste is fine. Agility might. Uh, I... Hellbeasts can't see invisible, so that would be a good time perhaps to use my potion of invisibility. If he summons any hellbeasts, uh, or if I can't get the jump on him and I predict that he'll be summoning hellbeasts, then I can use my my potion of invisibility. So I think we're about ready here. So let's head to Deaths 1, the closest portal to hell. Two-headed ogre. I thought it was a two-headed hydra briefly, and I was like, I don't remember doing that to a hydra. Because you, you, you never see two-headed hydras. They just like don't exist unless you chop off their heads uh, with a weapon of flaming to stop the heads from growing back, which you, know, you don't really do that often. Javelins of Penetration again, thanks. Okay, here we are, Death's One, Gateway to Hell. So, we're gonna apply buffs here. Start with haste, and I have a wand of haste in case I need it. Now, am I over preparing for this fight? Yes, it should be all right without doing this. Let's put on my blowgun immediately so I don't have to swap once I'm down there. Let's quaff haste. Let's quaff might. Let's use heroism. Let's quaff agility? I guess. Okay, so this is like a. We're way stronger than usual right now, and that's important. Where's Garyon? He's up there and he's distracted. So let's try the Needles of Paralysis. He stopped moving. 
I'm going to hit him with another one to reapply the paralysis while he is paralyzed, because it will add a lot of turns. Wow, and damage, goodness. No, I guess not damage. Did like no damage at all, but the three exclamation points, I just mean, I guess means that he's paralyzed for a long time. I don't know. There's a lot of Hell Knights in here. There's something invisible here. So let's just, you know, we're mangling Gary on. We got him. Well, he's not dead yet, but now he's dead. Okay. So now the question is, do we fight this stuff? It seems like the answer to that must be no. That's a bad idea. Um, I would like to just fight my way back to the exit um, with like blinking in reserve, basically. Uh, but that looks like it's not going to work out very well. So I'm just going to blink out of here. It's fine. I have three scrolls of blinking. Yes. Take me right here. That's the gateway back. And nothing can push me off the stairs, so up we go. Cool. We got Gary on. We got our bonus point. And uh, those buffs were... I feel perfectly happy having used them, um, you know, and, and it was a get in, get out kind of thing. Like, I don't want to have to fight all those Hell Knights ever, honestly. Uh, I might go back through Hell for my rune. I'm not, I'm still not really sure where I'm getting the first rune. But uh, now that we've killed Garion, we are allowed to enter rune branches. So... I think we're going to go to uh, Spider. Yeah, Spider should be better than Swamp, question mark. Swamp is going to have Hydras, but we've got Hydra solutions. Spider is going to have... Wow, my evasion is 38. Really? Agility plus uh, heroism is pretty good, I guess. 38 is really good. Didn't realize it had gotten quite so high. And like, I mean, that's just, you know, and the buffs to shields and everything, I guess it all just adds up. Wow. I guess agility and heroism sort of synergize because it adds more dexterity and more dodging and those two multiply together in addition to adding more evasion directly from agility. So anyway, that was, that was great. I'm glad we caught him unaware. The first needle hit him, the second needle kept him down. And um, now we can just sort of go to Spider or to Swamp. And I guess I'd rather do Swamp. It's sort of harder to get uh, to underestimate stuff. I, I lost a character in, in Spider somewhat recently because, oh yeah, I know, Liquid Flames, whatever, because I underestimated the threats that were there. And at least in Swamp, they look like big threats, right? I mean, uh, they're hydras and dragons and so on. Uh, and so it's easier to, to recognize that they're big threats and treat them seriously. So let's unexclude this square. Let me just double check the tournament rules. But I'm allowed to go in now. Yes, kill Garion before entering a non-abyss rune ranch. So this is a non-abyss rune branch, but I've killed Garion so I can go in and get a hell or pan rune as your first rune. Uh, so as long as I have runes off auto pickup, which I'm pretty sure I do, yep, I can go in here and not accidentally disqualify myself from some points. Cool. So here's this Hydra. Let's throw some rocks at him. Cool. 
So large rocks really just solve all the hydra problems. Uh, and hydras and swamp dragons are sort of the biggest threats in here. Uh, I guess that's not quite true. Um, you can run into like, yeah, these guys. Uh, the walking plants, shambling mangroves, and thorn hunters are are just quite tough. And there are some spriggans in here as well. But having been through depths, like honestly, this shouldn't be a big deal for us. Depths and like we dove into hell. Like uh, that's not, I like how you know that that epic feel of uh, you know an adventurer who dove through hell itself. Um, you know, we we just sort of. Uh, briefly dipped in there. It's not so uh, so heroic as it might sound, but you know, I mean, we, we killed a, a lord of hell. Um, not one of the major ones, like a Reshkigal or something, but... Okay, let's fly? Yeah. Um, you know, Garyon is... He's in charge of the vestibule. He's not supposed to let people in, and so we killed him. Take that. Uh, how many, I haven't even killed Garyon that many times, honestly, in my dungeon crawl career. Uh, how many? Seven times. That's my seventh Garyon kill in, you know, I think 41 wins. So usually I just don't go to hell at all. There's not a very compelling reason to do so. Uh, unless you want like to win a 15 rune game and get a high score, which I usually don't bother with. I'm perfectly happy to win just three runes. Uh, but on especially strong characters where I feel like I'm having a lot of fun and I don't want the game to end, well, you know, if you go into into extended, it really starts to feel like the game is never going to end. <laughs> uh, and you can you can carry on forever. Like there are there are several infinite branches of the dungeon that you can visit if you want. Oh, Francis, I was not paying any attention. Just reminiscing about uh, past heroes, I guess. So Francis is a, a demon, sort of like a demonologist. I don't know. She went to hell and pandemonium, I think, actually, and defeated some sort of demon lord and gained his power or something is the lore there. Uh, I just don't like these leeches. I don't like Francis either. I don't like any of this stuff. But it doesn't seem to be doing much damage, so that's fine. Francis, like, are you... Oh, you have a halberd. That's why you're not trying to get closer. Let's fly. And standing next to this hydra should honestly not be a big deal, I think. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just kill Francis. He's in shallow water, so I don't mind throwing rocks at him. Cool. There goes Francis, and we got some sort of gift. A robe. Don't really need it. So Swamp is going fine. Uh, you know, I really don't anticipate any issues. Um, I might or might not. Oops. Uh, I don't know that I want to. I guess I'll try to get a stab on him. It'll be fun. Yeah, so he grew another head, but we did a lot of damage. It was worth it. Um, where was I going? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go down to Swamp 4, uh, where, which is where the rune is, just because... I mean, I might. Like, the only reason we're in Swamp at all is for experience not for the rune, which is why I would normally be here. Um, and so Swamp 4 is kind of more dangerous, of course, since it has the rune, it's the last level of a branch, and all this stuff. Um, and we ought to be just fine, really. But, oops, I'm tabbing a Hydra, what am I doing? There we go. 
But, you know, there's some risk associated, and the experience gained is, like, not a big deal. I'm just sort of doing this, uh, like, pretty soon we're going to have to dive into Pandemonium or Hell again. Um, without getting a lot more experience. You know, the experience you get from a, a, a Lair branch at level 22 is not that significant. Um, and the loot is not that good. So we're going to have to uh, be ready to go into Pandemonium or Hell pretty soon without any big upgrades. Um, we might find some big upgrades. So the, the place where you would usually get a lot more experience before venturing in there would be either Zot, like where the end of the game is, but you're like, you feel like it's safer than Pandemonium sometimes. So you go there first, or vaults. Uh, but both of those, you can't enter without at least one rune, or in the case of Zot, uh, three runes. So we are excluded from that area because we need our first rune to be in Pandemonium. Usually you would get that as like some of your last runes. And... So I'm still going to be lower level than I would like for a character in Pandemonium. And my resists are not great, but they are swappable to be great. Um, uh, which means, like, we could pick a Hell Branch that... Why does the shiny one have an altar here? It's weird. Uh, we could... I guess I'll learn Repel Missiles, sure. Uh, what was I saying? Runes, going to pan first, will be low-leveled. Swappable resists. So we can pick a hell branch that appeals to us, or just go to Pandemonium, where there's sort of easier stuff, but less predictable. And... Uh, the problem is, I don't think there's a hell branch that I feel good about. Like, the ones that we have resists for, Costas and Tartarus, uh, not Tartarus, Costas and uh, Gehenna, are not the easiest. They're, like, sort of the hardest, too. Um, I could maybe go Dis, which is just, like, a bunch of... a bunch of physical damage, basically. None of this fire or cold or negative energy. I guess I'll go to Swamp 3, see what's up. Swamp 4. Um, but we could get some loot from Slime, is something I think I was going to say and interrupted myself at some point. Because uh, you can kill the Royal Jelly and loot the Slime Ball. Uh, and then just not pick up the rune. And there's there's quite a sizable amount of, of loot in there. Less than there would be in Vaults 5, uh, let alone all of Vaults. But... Um, still plenty to hopefully find us some improvements if there's something we're looking for. Okay, so this looks like, yeah, this looks like the end vault here. And, uh, yeah, honestly, I'd rather not. If it doesn't wake up, I'll just leave. Apparently, I'm just leaving anyway. Now there's a ghost crab chasing me, which is kind of a hassle. Uh, but none of this stuff is too concerning. Just sort of annoying not to have uh, to be able to eat. Like, so this is this is a challenge for trolls, like these lair branches, uh, because you you count all game on eating corpses uh, to satiate your hunger. Uh, and there just aren't any in here. And for normal characters, it's not such a big deal. But trolls get hungry so fast that you you end up do dipping substantially into your your renewable food, which is fine. Uh, I mean, there's still plenty to win the game with. But it always feels bad to eat some. And you're like, oh, if I were uh, a little bit more prepared, maybe I wouldn't need to use it, blah, blah, blah. 
Uh, but let's head to spider. It should be fine. Spider, spider, spider. Go to N. Let's see, like, we're just having to eat. Oh, give me this crocodile. I want to eat you, crocodile. Nope. Spiny frog's not edible. I guess we're going to use royal jelly again. It's fine. Uh, spider nest. Let's make it non-excluded again. There's a basilisk. Can't eat that either. Okay, so here's spider. And, you know, we have enough armor and evasion that uh, all these spiders are not a big concern. We have poison resistance. A few of these guys are edible, but most spiders are not edible. Uh, I, remember, I just uh, was reminded that in a recent video I was talking about how it would have been nice to get a, po a wand of heal wounds rather than a third wand of haste. Uh, forgetting that I don't want a wand of heal wounds on this character. Uh, at the moment, anyway, I can't oh, food. I can't uh, use heal wounds because of the robe of vines. So that's fine. Uh, getting, I would have liked teleportation, but I still have. I'm getting like a ton of scrolls. So an orb spider. I don't even remember killing that. Must have been in a trance. Um. What was I saying? Teleportation. Yeah, so uh, scrolls are a little bit less useful than a wand. Like, obviously, you can sort of think of a wand of teleportation with six charges as being like a six scrolls of teleportation, right? It takes up one inventory slot. You can use it six times. Uh, you can recharge it, but which is obviously great. Uh, but there's another difference, which is that uh, there are some situations, usually monsters, but you could silence yourself. There's situations where you can be silenced, where you can't read scrolls, you can't cast spells. And uh, in those situations, it's really valuable to have a wand to do like stuff that you really need to get done, because wands don't make noise. Uh, don't need to make noise anyway. So uh, you can still use it even when you're silenced, which is a big deal. Like if you really need to teleport somewhere. Uh, it looks like they added quite a few. Uh, there are enough edible monsters in here that I seem to be doing fine. I guess some of it is also that we're high level enough that I'm just tearing through here uh, and not having to rest really at all. I guess I'm probably also getting hungrier because of the robe of vines. I know like normal regeneration equipment makes you hungrier. I'm not sure if the robe of vines does or if it's some other deal. Scroll of magic mapping, cool. Uh, like it doesn't, it doesn't make vine stalkers hungry. They, does it? I don't know, I don't think so. Well, I mean, no, I don't mean them wearing this. I just mean they're, uh, ugh, never mind, I give up. Uh, let's drop all these wands of draining and then this spare wand of disintegration. So orb spiders are kind of a threat uh, to some characters. <laughs> uh, they, they try to get to a range from you and shoot orbs of destruction at you, which do more damage uh, the further away they came from. Uh, don't need this. And they, uh, orbs of destruction are not instant, so like you can dodge them if you're careful or get them to slam into enemies, but they are pretty fast, so it's hard to dodge them. Um, so they, they do just like a lot of damage in general, and so some characters have a lot of trouble with orb spiders getting into range with them and into melee rather with them. And then you take a bunch of damage, it kind of stinks. Uh, but between having like a bajillion hit points and decent shield skill to block the orbs and large rocks. Uh, so Donald's shields are often reflection. So I'm going to see what happens when I hit him. Uh, he didn't block. What a sucker. 
Yeah, okay, but it is reflection, so large rocks I throw at him might hit me, so I'll just kill him, whatever. Um, but orb spiders are just, I don't know, nothing in here seems like a concern. Uh, you know, I guess entropy weavers are kind of an issue, because they can corrode us, and we can get badly poisoned by redbacks. Actually, confusion from tarantellas, I think, is the biggest issue, uh, because that could when render us sort of defenseless. Uh, but they mostly miss us, and we block when they don't miss, so it's fine. You know, fighting all these spiders with just six armor is like, it's obviously wrong, but right now I, I feel so powerful that it doesn't matter too much. Um... Still no portal projectile, right? I would like that for... But I do have apportation and a couple scrolls of blinking to use to steal a rune. Uh, the nice thing about if I decided to go to hell rather than pandemonium is it's not hard to back out. Uh, you can try the vestibule of hell, and if you don't like it, you can go back. And then you can try a hell branch, and if the stuff is just too overwhelming, you can generally get back to the vestibule without a lot of trouble. So I feel like that's what I want to try first, and then like uh, dip into dis, I guess, uh, to try to find a rune. And if I don't like dis, you know, I can go back to the vestibule. But if I can't even clear the vestibule, that'll be a, a big indicator that, like, I need to figure out something clever. Uh, I could consider, like, trying to run away through the vestibule into Dis, but then I don't have an escape route from Dis anymore, which is a, you know, which would make the whole thing a lot worse of a plan. Like, that's the only reason to go to Hell instead of Pandemonium, I think, is the ready availability of and escape. There's some sort of anthill in here for some reason. I think I've seen this anthill a lot recently. Uh, but with resist poison and you know, or the robe of vines, we can just stand in the middle of all these ants and hold down tab, right? It looks that way. And a lot of them are edible, which is great. Not a big deal. We seem to be doing just fine on food. <laughs> And the robe of vines is regenerating us much faster than the poison can do damage. Oh, a new scroll. Acquirement, okay. So we could wish for a wand, which would uh, hopefully be teleportation, but we have a lot of scrolls of teleportation. What else could we wish for? Uh, that's not the screen I meant, this screen. We could wish for armor. We might get a better hat or something. Uh, I feel like our jewelry is fantastic. There's no real reason to do that. Uh, wish for a staff, which would give us like uh, probably a rod, but I don't know, maybe not. Other, it would be pretty useless either way, really. Uh, wish for a book and hope it gave us a manual, but it probably wouldn't. It would probably give us a spell book, uh, which is slightly weighted towards the skills you've trained, but not a lot. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold, hold that much hope of getting portal projectile that way. Um, so I think armor and wand are the main choices, and with the rope of vines, the need to find a wand of heal wounds is a lot less pressing than it would be otherwise. And I think I'm just going to take armor and see if I get something cool. And if I don't, that's fine. It's sort of what acquirement is about, is like you usually get something you can't use very easily. It's, you know, a shield, sure. Plus two large shield of protection, you know, so that was a scroll of enchant armor, basically. <laughs> but, you know, that's life. They don't call them scrolls of disappointment for nothing. And, you know, we at least got an upgrade that we can use. Um... 
you don't really typically want to save your scrolls of requirements. Some people save them because wands you haven't seen are more common, uh, are, are, or rather, a, uh, acquirement is weighted towards stuff you haven't seen yet. And so people will say, well, I, I haven't, there's a bunch of crappy wands I haven't seen yet. So I'm going to wait to acquire until I see all the crappy ones and then get acquirement or get, uh, you know, heal wounds or something out of my acquirement. Um, I mean, it's not totally crazy, but stuff that helps you many, many turns from now is just not that important. You got to got to always optimize for the near term, basically. And uh, probabilistically, like, you might get heal wounds anyway out of it. Um, or you might find a wand of heal wounds on the floor, and then, like, what is your requirement for? You know, saving it to get you heal wounds didn't really work in that, in that scenario. Uh, so there's just a lot of ways that saving your requirement really isn't that great. It's fine sometimes, but I, I basically never do. Stupid tarantellas. At least they're yummy. So this is the end vault for sure. Um, that big gate. Like, spiders can't even open doors. It's not clear why they have a gate, but they do. Uh, and let's pop heroism. Like, I don't know, it should be fine, but... There goes the orb spider, yeah. Uh, okay, I was about to say, we probably want C invisible in here, because these ghost moths are kind of an, an irritant. Uh, they're not such a big deal because we're a melee guy, but they drain a lot of, uh, of magic points, and they can also drain your stats, you know, strength, dexterity, and so on. Which is just kind of a bummer. But, uh, so they can't see invisible, interestingly, even though they are themselves invisible. So that's a thing you can use to uh, sort of take care of them, is become invisible yourself, and then stab them or whatever. Oh my gosh, just let me rest. So that's it's kind of annoying that when you get full hit points, it stops resting. And like, if you're poisoned but regenerating faster than that, you kind of still want to rest until your HP, or your MP is back or whatever. There's no easy way to do that. Uh, you know, it's just an interface complaint. It would be nice if I could say, you know, rest until my magic is back. Um, and there is a way that you can say in your RC file, in your options, you can say, like, whenever I'm resting, I want my HP and magic to be back. Which I feel like is how I usually want to rest. But I don't know, I'm sort of used to the old way and I'm not that excited about changing it. Eh. So here's the end vault. Uh, the rune should be in here. Uh, probably like here or, or here. Here is I guess most likely. I don't really know this vault perfectly. But there's this is like, this is the first time I've seen Emperor Scorpions, this entire spider nest and um, last character I lost in Spider Nest saw two Emperor Scorpions like at the entrance to Spider 1 and I just was not prepared and didn't respect them enough. Uh, but for us it should be no problem at all really to, to take out all these chumps. They're yellow but I mean we're not going to take any damage even really. Heroism and Finesse and Tab. The power of Tab. So it looks like it's probably in here. There's the rune, which uh, we're not going to pick up. But there's probably like potions of ambrosia there or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's not get it. That's important. Uh, I wonder if the rune is like randomly put in either this corner or this corner, or if it's just always down there. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. So that was spider and swamp. Uh, and I think Garyon as well was in this video, so that's been a lot of content. Uh, next up, 
I think I'm going to go have a look at slime, try to find some loot. And then after that, I think we're going to just have to go to go try out the vestibule again. So I'll see you next time.